Hello everyone. Now there are many of you who in class 7 feel that triangles is a very difficult chapter. How we are going to understand the concepts, how we are going to apply in our sums. Uh, these things panics you all a lot, right? But I think after seeing this video, you all will understand that how we are going to deal with triangles and how to approach the triangle sums easily, okay? So you all are watching Ganithmatics. I am Michael Datta. Now, her sawal hoga sawal. Now, to start with this chapter, we are first going to learn few basic things regarding triangles. A little bit you all have seen in class 6, a little bit idea you all have from class 6. So in class 7, we are going to understand few properties first, which properties are basically going to help you all with regarding the problems. Okay. Now this video is only the introduction video of triangles. We are just going to uh, learn the basic concepts, few basic properties for the triangles. If you all feel that you all need another video where I will discuss the sums also, then do let me know in the comment box. Okay. Now let us start with the introduction of triangles for class. Okay. So I am Michael Delta. You all are watching the mathematics. Okay. Those who are new to this channel, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any new videos now as we all know the triangle basic feature is that we basically have a closed figure which is made up of three sides right now if i name this triangle as abc so one thing is very clear to us that there are three sides present and there are three interior angles okay this is pretty clear to all of you right now, the first thing that we are going to learn here is that what is the interior angle of a triangle and what is the exterior angle of a triangle. So, each of these angles that you all can see which are forming at the vertices, I hope you all know that these are called the vertices of the triangle where the any two side meets that point is called the vertex. Now, at these three vertices, you all can see that there are three angles forming inside the triangle. So, these angles are called the interior angles, okay. Now, but now see if there is any one of the side if we produce externally like for example in this way. So, we have extended BC a little bit to the right side. Let me name a point on this side as D say, okay. Now, you all will be able to understand one thing here if you observe closely that there is another angle which is forming on the outside of the triangle on the same line okay at the same point c now the point is this angle that we have seen earlier let me name it as one and this one is two so this angle one that is forming at the point c it is inside the triangle that is my interior angle but this angle that is formed on the same straight line but outside the triangle this is called exterior angle right Okay, so this is the difference between the interior angle and the exterior angle. Now, since you all can see here that these two angles are on, on a single straight line and you all have learned in class 6 that the angles, the sum of the angles on a straight line at a point always add to 180 degree, right? So, in class 7 also we can apply the same concept but if the relation holds only for two angles like in this case you all can see that in this on the straight line at a particular point two angles are forming. So, by the same concept we can say that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree. But if we want to give a separate name here then we can term it as linear pair. Linear pair basically means linear means basically line. So, that means these two angles are basically on a straight line and pair we are calling because there are only two angles. So, pair means a group of two. So, that is the reason why we are calling it as a linear pair. So, in, a, in your sums also if you are applying this you all can mention the reasoning as linear pair. Okay, clear to the clear till this one I guess. Now, one more property that we all have to learn here is regarding all the interior angles of a triangle. Okay. Now, basically, if I name this angles, say angle A, angle B and angle C, the interior ones, then always remember that the sum of these three angles will be always 180 degree and this is called the angle sum property of a triangle. Okay, so that means the angle of the interior, the interior angles, if I do the sum of the interior angles, then that sum will be always 180 degrees. So, proved result and this property you all can use anywhere in any sum in class triangles, not only in class 7, but in the higher classes as well, obviously. 
So, this is one property which is very very important and you all can apply in your sums. Okay. Now, one more property which is going to be very very important very useful in our sums also that is called the exterior angle property. Now, let us understand what is exterior angle property. Now, exterior angle property basically says that like in this scenario we have an exterior angle here. So, it says that any exterior angle like for in this case we have angle 2 will be always equal to two interior angles. Now, for this figure it will be angle A plus angle B. Now, when I am telling that the exterior angle is equal to two interior angles then you must think that then which two interior angles they are referring to because there are total three interior angles then which two to take right. See always remember the exterior angle you all have taken obviously we have a counterpart of that inside right. So, whichever counterpart you have of the exterior angle that interior angle you will not take other than that the rest two angles that you have those two you all have to take. So, that means if your exterior angle is at the point C then the interior angle at the point C you will not consider you will take the other two. So, this exterior angle is equal to the sum of these two interior angles ok and this is called exterior angle property. This is also a very useful property that you all can use in your sums to solve problems clear. I think these three things are clear. Now, only two more things are required more in class 7 that you all will need to understand to apply in your sums. Those are called complementary angles and supplementary angles. Now, what is complementary angles? See, complementary angles basically means that if you all have two angles and if you all see that their sum is 180 degree like for example if I say that I have two angles and if, if we can see that their sum is 90 degree that that means angle 1 and angle 2 are complementary angles and each of them will be termed as complement of each other. So, for example, if I say you, you all will find sums like this in your books also like they will give one angle say as 40 degree and they will ask you that what is the complement of this angle. See, it is very simple. So, if, if they are asking the complement of this angle, so it is pretty easy complement basically means they are talking about another such angle which holds the complementary angle relation with it. That means, they are asking about such a angle which if you add with 1 you will get a 90. So, that means obviously, the other angle should be 90 degree minus this. So, you just simply subtract this angle from 90 degree. Whatever value you will get that is going to be the complement of angle 1. So, that means if they ask you the complement of 40 degree you just subtract 40 from 90 whatever will be the result like in this case we have 50 degree. So, 50 degree will be its complement ok moving on to the next one. Now, the next concept that we have is called the supplementary angles similar concept but only the sum is different. In, com in, su uh, in supplementary angles what happens the sum of any two angles is 180 degree same concept ok. So, sum of two angles if it is 180 then we will call them as supplementary angles. So, in the same way if they ask you that what is the supplement let me give you all an example say if I have 70 degree if I ask you what is the supplement of this again the same concept you just simply subtract 70 from 180 degree ok. So, then in that case 180 degree minus 70 degree will be 110. So, that means 110 is the supplement of 70. So, that is the difference complementary angles the sum is 90 and supplementary angles the sum is 180 degree. And if they ask you complement or supplement of any angle if they ask you complement subtract that angle from 90 and if they ask you supplement then you subtract that from 180 degree. So, these are the few basic concepts that you all need to know in triangles to solve the problems and to understand the concept a little better ok. So, that much for today I hope you all have understood the topic. So, you all are watching Ganit Matics I am Michael Datta Ab Har Sawal Hoga Sawal.